Baby trap warning. Danger. Women are forcing men to have their babies. But are they really demons? Yes, they are. <laughs> You'd have to understand a lot of women have become so desperate that they would do anything, including trapping you as a man. This is the story of me agreeing to get an older woman pregnant and then her trying to ruin my life. Bro. When I was 23, I had a one night stand with a girl from my hometown named Maria. We both knew it was nothing more than that and we didn't speak after. Several months later, I received a text from her saying that she hadn't been lucky in love and she wanted a baby before it was too late. Okay. So she asked if I would get her pregnant and I wouldn't have to bear any responsibility, like a sperm donor. So I considered yeah. it and I first thought no, but after some you know, time to think about it, I thought it'd be the right thing to do for someone struggling. So we filled out an ironclad agreement and you know, basically I would, wouldn't be responsible at all. A while later, she told me she was ovulating, and then a few weeks after that, she told me she was pregnant and it had worked. I went back to California for work, and we didn't speak after that. Unbeknownst to me, she contacted my family behind my back and invited them to the baby shower. Damn. They then began getting dinner or whatever regularly, and as she got to know my parents, my parents started encouraging me to be in the baby's life, and once I found out it was a little girl, I thought it was the right thing to do. Trapped. You're trapped. This woman is using everything to make him feel guilty about not seeing his child. Bruh. Proper garden tool. Though they had an arrangement, but okay, trust me, it gets worse. I flew home to be there for the birth, and I got a tattoo of our daughter's middle name before she was born. Oh. After our daughter was born, Maria wanted us to be together and be a family. And when I said I didn't want to do that, she wouldn't let me see my daughter. Okay. My main source of income at the time was the Airbnb that I owned. And she said this a few months after she was born. I felt bad, so I let her move in for several months, rent-free. Once she moved out, she told me this. I've never done anything to warrant supervised visits, but I agreed to keep the peace. I would come home as often as I could to see our daughter, and things were usually okay when I was there. These are all from her Facebook. One Halloween, I didn't want to wear matching costumes with Maria, so she wouldn't let me see my daughter for a while. And when our daughter was being baptized, I drove a 14 hour round trip from Nashville to attend. And because I didn't want to see Maria the night before, she didn't allow me to come to the baptism at all. Damn! The manipulation tactics of a woman who has your child is just so effed up because these women know or they feel that they can do anything and they will use the love of your child against you. Just to torture him? Yeah. Leverage. Ah, leverage. This young man made a mistake, gave her what she wanted, and now she's effing with his life. Soon after this, she served me with child support, saying that our original contract wasn't valid because our daughter didn't have a social security number yet. And I didn't fight her on it. Uh, I didn't have the time. I was living away. I ended up paying her $10,000 up front and seven fifty dollars a month. I was able to move home soon after that, and I began seeing our daughter regularly. Everything was going really well until I got a girlfriend. Even mm. though she had a boyfriend who was regularly around our daughter, she said that my girlfriend couldn't be around our daughter. I was able to get our daughter for an afternoon and Maria asked what I was doing. I told her that I was with my girlfriend and we were at Lowe's together. She freaked out. I said I'd bring her daughter back to her as soon as we were done, but instead Maria drove to Lowe's Apparently called my dad and was running up and down the aisle screaming. I don't know what actually happened, but she was freaking out, just blowing up my phone. Bear in mind, that's his girlfriend. Yeah. yeah. Yet her boyfriend is around their child all the time. That's not right. That is wrong on so many levels, but okay. Again, the manipulation tactics women use when they have your child is just disgusting. In some cases, having a child with a woman lets you see how she really is. How effed up she really is, sadly. But by that point, sadly, it's too late, isn't it? thinking she was in danger and keep in mind my girlfriend is a mom as well as a nurse our daughter was never in any danger when i offered maria and my girlfriend to get to know each other so they'd be comfortable you know my daughter being around she immediately said no and you know called my girlfriend a word that rhymes with chore and refused to get to go to a garden tool now nah. that's wrong nowhere Maria then made a public post saying that I was a deadbeat dad and that I hadn't seen her daughter in weeks. Here I am with her daughter just a few days prior to this post. I also left my best friend's bachelor party a day early so I could be home for Father's Day and she still wouldn't allow me to see her. She even said this to my grandmother. She had her friends comment mean things on my girlfriend's social media multiple times, even though my girlfriend has never been anything but nice to Maria. 
because Maria tends to do this, I want to make sure that she doesn't twist the story and make it seem like I abandoned our daughter. I recently found out that our daughter isn't mine. What? Our da daughter isn't mine. Ah, oh, yeah. After everything you've just heard, everything, all the tactics, manipulation, trash already, trash, the lying, deception, the making him jump through hoops, stressing him out, effing with his emotions. Oh my God. Zero percent paternity. Zero. None. None. What does it mean? He was one of probably a few young men that she was doing this to. No, it wasn't just him. No. It could have been another young man or another dude she was just banging anyway. Yeah? Yeah. And again, this is one of the most effed up things a woman could do. Pretend that your child is yours. Deception. Deception. Lies. Mmm. To go so far as to put him on child support and everything and the kid's not even flipping his. <laughs> Oh my god, I swear. You know, you know, sometimes women do things to make a man lose his mind. And I don't condone men doing anything horrific, but it's like, women don't seem to be accountable as to what they do to a man to make him go so far. To make him go so far, but flipping out. All of that, it's not even his kid. Yo, wicked! Oh, breathe. Breathe. I don't know who the dad is, but I've had two paternity tests done, and they both say this. Um, I believed Maria when she told me that I was the only possible father. The situation was weird. Sadly, bro, that's on you. That's on you. For her to come to you like that, understand you are one of a few men. This was a leftover woman desperate for a baby. Her time was running out. She was desperate. Desperate women do crazy things. To this day! But I was always happy to be a dad. I, I knew that Maria already knew she was pregnant. She had to have when she asked me to get her pregnant. I didn't think that, that was something that someone would lie about to another human being. Really? Not only to me, but my entire family as well. I get your point, young man, but you're a bit naive. You really should understand as a man. It's all about her. It's all about her. You're just, you're an accessory, bro. It's all about her. That's why they can be so ruthless. Everybody's distraught about this. Maria, I allowed you to paint me as the villain and you as the victim for years to keep peace. But I hope you know that the only victim here is your child. I need to see that bitch. See that woman. You just see that woman for every damn penny she's effing got. And apparently he can. Apparently he can. Sue that effing woman, man. For mm, Try not to swear. Sue that effing woman. Yes, I am quite triggered by this because I think this is going to become more prevalent. I think more leftover women are going to start doing this. If men their own age aren't checking for him, trying to put a baby in him. Nope. These women are going to manipulate younger men. Younger men, watch out. I get it, you're happy you get in some box. Shrimp tacos? Don't be. Because you're not the only man she's probably giving it to, to have that baby. Before you start believing his sh um there's just a few things that i want you to take into consideration is first the collection date um was august 10th 2024 well i had my daughter on august 10th 2024 okay here's a woman maria capping Lying, talking absolute BS that she didn't know. She didn't know. Yes, she did know. She full and well knew. Men, never let a woman tell you she didn't know when it comes to paternity. Never let them tell you they don't know. They effing know. They know who's effing them, but they bank on the fact you don't know who's effing them. Bingo. Who's the daddy? Who's the daddy? First, the collection date um, was August 10th, 2024. Silence, you fool. As a man, it is sad that a woman would bank on your feelings to be a dad to use you and manipulate you, to get the most out of you, when in reality, bro, this woman does not even care about you. Have a nice day. Our daughter isn't mine.